In a battle that lasted for four years but has just come to a decisive end, Syrian government forces have finally retaken eastern Aleppo from rebel groups. Russia halted its air campaign today, saying that the city is fully under regime control. Thousands of residents managed to escape the city, and Turkey says it negotiated a deal that could allow safe passage for some rebel fighters and civilians. But for those who refuse to leave or haven't been able to, the threat of capture, torture, or execution is still very real. Members of the White Helmets Volunteer Group, who have spent the last three years rushing to the rescue of civilians, told Vice News it's now nearly impossible for them to work. The situation on the ground is uh, catastrophic. Every moment is worse than uh, the moment before. Right now, uh, 100,000 civilians uh, stuck and uh, trapped in three to five square kilometers in the remaining part of the besieged area. We are not able uh, to give anything because uh, there are no equipment and no vehicles and no fuel even. The UN says it received reports that pro-government forces executed at least 82 civilians as they swept through the last rebel-held pockets of the city. We are getting alarming reports of atrocities against the civilians, including women and children in eastern Aleppo. We must do all we can to stop the carnage. One of the factors complicating ceasefire negotiations is that anti-government forces are not a united front, and the different rebel factions in eastern Aleppo varied in their willingness to stop fighting. Aleppo is just one of Syria's front lines. Swaths of territory are still being held by ISIS fighters, rebel groups, and Kurdish militias. Which means that before there can be peace in Syria, there will almost certainly be more war.